It's a rare look into a room full of treasures and valuables stored and secured over decades, and for the most part, kept hidden from the public eye. And it sits deep inside the Israeli parliament, the Knesset. As the Knesset marks its 74th anniversary, we received a rare visit to the site. In order to mark our 74th birthday, we're going to open for you and for your team uh, one of the most important chambers, one of the most special chambers in the Knesset, which is the place where we are keeping all the presents that the Knesset got in its 74 years. The secret doors open and with shining eyes we enter that special chamber full of metals, vases, lamps, rare kitchenware and what not. So this colorful uh, wine glass we got from the House of Lords uh, when the Speaker of the Knesset visited uh, Britain. And those are four coasters that we got from the Senate also in a visit of uh, the Knesset delegation that went to the U.S. Senate for an official meetings. As of today, the Knesset has received around 1,200 gifts, and they are kept in categories, Judaica, silverware, watches, and jewelry. Obviously, all are carefully catalogued. Once we received the carpet as a gift, a very, very expensive one. And some years ago, we were asked, where is the carpet? Whether it's in the chamber, and we could give the exact details about it. And just like fashion, the nature of the gifts awarded changed frequently over time. Previously, people used to bring bigger things, for example, a kitchen set. But these days, it's something structured. It's like that everywhere in the world. And when it comes to us, if we choose a gift, there are fixed things we bring. This collection is full of unique pieces. The most expensive gift is the diamond necklace that uh, one of the members of Knesset got while doing an official visit in Morocco. In one of the countries, uh, somebody took the portrait of the speaker of the Knesset, Yuli Edelstein, and created this battle who he got uh, as a present and brought it here into storage. Some of the treasures have special historical value. This one, for instance, is a plaque that uh, marking um, the first Knesset sitting in Tel Aviv. It used to be on the building in Tel Aviv on the beach where the Knesset used to sit until uh, December 49. Okay. And exclusively for I-24 News, Moshe shows an album that was recently found. In the archives we found this album. Uh, this album is uh, one of the oldest pieces in, uh, in our archive and from the opening of the Knesset it shows all the first gifts that the Knesset got from 49 when it was established till the 60s. We still don't have enough information about each uh, present that is mentioned here because we have mostly pictures. And though most of these treasures are being stored in this chamber, some of them are shown to the public visiting the Knesset. One of the most important present historically is a, a silver plate that we got from President Carter. And after signing the peace agreement with Egypt, he gave us this silver plate with writing of Shalom, peace, and Salam in Arabic. The treasure has been buried again for the day, but the box will be open again soon for the public to come and see its amazing contents.